This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Whisper Jax. Whisper Jax is a highly optimized Whisper implementation for both GPU and TPU. So I saw this tweet from Sanchit Gandhi at Hugging Face. So they have made Whisper 70x faster. So what is Whisper? Whisper is an automatic speech recognition system from OpenAI. Okay. It was trained on a huge data set and it had exceptional performance. So they have taken that and they have uh, done this JAX implementation, which is 70x faster okay, than the PyTorch code. So what is JAX? JAX is a machine learning library from Google, right? It is a machine learning framework for transforming numerical functions. Okay. Uh, so they have a demo which I couldn't uh, test because I get this uh, gateway timeout. But they also have this GitHub page where they have this Kaggle notebook. Okay, in that notebook, they demonstrate how they can transcribe 30 minutes of audio in approx 30 seconds. So let's open this notebook and let's try it out. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to try out that 30 minute uh, video uh, audio, okay? Uh, what I want to try out is I want to try it out on a YouTube video to transcribe a YouTube video. Okay. Um, so that is explanation of what is Whisper Jax over here. So Whisper Jax is highly optimized Jax implementation of the Whisper model by OpenAI. Okay. It is built on the Hugging Face Transformer Whisper implementation. Compared to OpenAI's PyTorch code, Whisper Jax runs 70x faster, making it the fastest Whisper implementation. Okay, um, so to get uh, started, this is run on TPUs. Okay, um, so what is uh, TPU basically? Uh, so you can uh, check out what is TPU over here, right? TPUs are tensor processing units or hardware accelerators specialized in deep learning tasks. They were created by Google. Okay, uh, so in Kaggle, you can uh, launch uh, what do you call Kaggle notebooks with TPU accelerators. Okay. Uh, so TPU V38, which is specialized hardware with four dual core TPU chips for a total of eight TPU cores. Okay. So this pro board provides significantly more computational power for mixed precision operations and matrix multiplications. So basically for, uh, you know, optimized hardware for deep learning tasks. Okay. These are tensor processing units. So here, uh, what uh, you require over here is that you require TPU basically right and basically in the notebook if you go to this accelerator uh, this thing here you have to select tpu v38 uh, okay vm38 okay so you need to select that and then once you run this import jax um, jax.devices basically it will show you that um, there are eight tpu devices packaged into one accelerator then you need to install this whisper jax uh, packages so that is what is done over here right then you can load a pipeline. So uh, to load a pipeline, you have to use this flax uh, whisper pipeline class. Okay. And the model is a large V2 model in B float 16, half precision, half precision will speed up the computation type considerably. Okay. Um, they also make use of batching for single audio inputs. The audio is first chunked into 30 second segments and then, uh, then the chunks are dispatched to the model to be transcribed in parallel. Okay, by batching uh, and transcribing in parallel, they get a 10x speed up compared to transcribing the audio sample sequentially. Okay, so this is how the pipeline is instantiated over here, you know, from Whisper Jax import flax Whisper pipeline, right? And then uh, this is how it is instantiated. Okay, uh, the model is OpenAI Whisper Large V2, right? Uh, then what they do is they create a compilation cache which will speed up the compilation time if we close our kernel and want to compile the model again. So that is what is done over here. Okay. Then what I have added over here is that I have added how you can download a video using PyTube. Okay. For that I use the PyTube library and I import um, YouTube class from PyTube. Okay. This is a link to one of my videos and then I can actually uh, download the video over here. Okay, that is what I uh, do over here. I try to create this YouTube object and then a YouTube class object and then I try to download a 
you know i try to get the filters for uh, what you call get the streams for that file and i download the audio this thing which is like 139 over here if you look somewhere over here you have that audio tag 134 133 um, somewhere over here you will have that audio tag as uh, you know 139 so that is what i download over here okay so i download the audio stream of that particular video uh, and then what I do is that I point the audio to uh, um, basically uh, file name to this variable called audio over here. Okay. So when I tried running this because over here they say that you can use uh, mp3 files and all those stuff. Right. Somewhere over here they say that you can run this with uh, you know not just uh, this thing. Uh, you can run um, not just the data set but you can run from uh, directly from mp4 files. Okay. The pipeline accepts that mp3 wave and mp4 files so that is what was written over here okay you can pass mp3 wave or flac audio files but when i tried it first there was an issue and i couldn't do it so for that what you need to do is that you need to install this ffmpeg library okay in this particular uh, system so for that i have to run these commands apt get update and apt install ffmpg so once i do this then I can directly send the path of an audio file to this pipeline. Otherwise, it was not working. That's a small change which I have done. So once I do that, uh, in this notebook, if you look at, uh, they talk about, uh, you know, making use of the data set and then transcribing and showing it. But I'm not doing that. I've just set the audio path, uh, audio path to the file, to my file, right? To my audio file. And then what I do is that I pass that path over here to the pipeline. So this is the first time compilation of the pipeline with this audio. So it took close to two minutes, four seconds when I run it. Uh, maybe I can run it again and uh, show you it takes that much time. Okay. Uh, but once you do it again, then it takes only 6.76 seconds. Okay. Because I've done it previously, uh, it is only taking 6.81 seconds now. Okay. But for the first time, it took close to two minutes. Okay. So because of the cached function, because we are caching it, we are using it again over here, right? Then we can look at the transcription. So the transcription is quite good, uh, you know. Um, so up to here, uh, this was the basically uh, transcription of my video. So it has done a very good job over here. Okay. You can also get uh, your timestamps, right? For the same audio, you can get the timestamps and it does it really fast. Okay, so this was a two minutes video. It it did close to six point seven six seconds. Okay, uh, a three minute video basically, right? Uh, there is this example of you know a thirty minutes video from this data set, uh, which happens really fast over here, right? I am not running that. You can just try it out. They say it takes only thirty five seconds to transcribe this thirty minutes of video. You can also get timestamps. Okay, so in the pipeline, you can pass the file name and you can say return timestamps is equal to true. And you can get the text, which is basically your transcription. You can also get the chunks. Okay, so for example, if I were to run it, uh, let's see how much time it takes for this particular thing. It took close to 3.77 seconds. And here, uh, you know, you have your uh, timestamps, right? If you print the chunks, you will get the timestamp along with the text. Okay. So I've just done a slight modification to this uh, Whisper Jacks TPU uh, demo to just, you know, how you can download a YouTube video and uh, you can take out the audio stream and you can transcribe using Whisper Jacks. So this is really fast compared to the OpenAI Whisper model. So you can actually try out this um, notebook. I will put a link of this notebook as well as the original notebook in the description of the video. I hope this short video on Whisper Jacks, the faster optimized implementation of Whisper is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.